What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Dying Light where we needed to buy some weapons so I decided to essentially set myself right here before I put the recording in because in the previous episode we had gone through a tunnel and we had used up all of our weapons and so now things are not looking so great for us we actually need to have better stuff however we can't do that until level 5 or 6 where we can get a hook blade and we can get a French or I'm sorry we can get a French wrench right now I'll probably get another classic baseball bat and maybe a simple knife or something that seems good. That'll work. Oh, wow, it reshuffled everything after I did that. That's weird. Okay, so we need some gauze, too. I'm gonna buy the gauze real fast. Wait, how does that work? Is it actually just, like, refilling all these, or what's going on here? Industrial grade leech. Let's buy that. That seems pretty awesome. And then we've got, like, we had, like, $7,000. Now we're down to, like, 3773 so this is very much starting to look like my bank account all of a sudden, just like money falling off of it just randomly. Like, oh my god, the bills have struck! That's the worst thing about being an adult right there, bills. Like, every month there are just people that like send you pieces of paper that are like, you owe us money for existing. And you'd be like, oh man, the real world is saddening and no way as fun as everything else. I'll probably get another like short knife or something too. Now that we've got ourselves a new blueprint, let's have a look at that and see what we can do with it. We got the, the industrial grade leech. It requires any melee weapon, cuts deep, adding additional bleeding effects to your attacks. Want to make your enemies bleed out? Of course you do. Find out how by following these simple steps. Okay, well, let's take a look at our inventory first. And we'll figure out what things we can equip. So we've got... I'd like this to go in for, like, the claw hammer, maybe. There we go. And then the classic baseball bat, maybe for the brick hammer. So there's that. We've got a bunch of weapons up here now. And let me see if maybe you can apply this to a... Yeah, let's do this. We'll make an industrial grade leech. Do I get to control how that happens? Like, do I get to pick which melee weapon that occurs with? Oh, I do. Okay. So let's take... Which classic baseball bat have I not repaired a whole bunch of times? Let's take the new classic... Actually, maybe it'll be better to add it to a short knife? I don't know. A knife seems like it would benefit more from extra bleeding effects than a blunt weapon, because that doesn't seem to have any predisposition whatsoever towards that. So we've got an exquisite short knife of bleedery. Alright, off we go. So, I don't think we're going to do the main storyline mission right here. I think we're just going to hang out and kind of like play around with the systems and see where we land as we run through the game. I'm feeling like... Give me my give me my other knife here. I want... Ooh, yeah, there it is. There's a knife that's got a little bit of panache. I like how we just jimmy-rigged it in order to make it double-bladed. Like, it was single... It had one side on it before, and now we've fiddled with it enough at this point to where it's turned into a double-bladed knife. That's pretty cool. Let's try it on this guy. Oh, chopped your head off. That's what you get. Oh, dealt with. Come on, zombie. Actually, this seems to be doing... Ow. How dare you strike me? How dare you? We're actually a little bit low on health. We need to run around and maybe find ourselves some candy or some halva or something. I'll probably head towards the next airdrop. We checked out that tunnel over there, and that actually did not go very well for us at all. I was a little bit disappointed by how badly we got our ass kicked. But at the same time, that actually makes me feel a little bit better, too. Because by the same token, it sort of feels like there's challenge to the game now. Whereas before, it was basically just like pistol whipping the hell out of these zombies that can't really fight back. Or that we can easily disengage. Fighting with the speedy zombies was quite a bit different by comparison. And I was really, really surprised to find that they actually injected quite a bit of challenge into the game. Now, part of it's going to be who is Errol Asani. Hmm. I assume that he's probably pretty good at, like, I can destroy these? What? I kick a your crate. Your crate is no longer allowed in my area, my vicinity. No crate fly zone. No crate fly zone. Alright, so let's take a look over here. I think the game reset my settings. Hold on, let me fiddle with it for a second. Alright, everybody, sorry about that. The game has this tendency to, like, reset all of its settings. Every time I turn it back on and off, I assume it's because they haven't set up, like, the temporary file or whatever it is that maintains your settings. And so I had to, like, reset everything. But now we're all good and back up and running. So we crafted our knife. We need to find some health, though. That's, like, the thing of the day. We... Let me drop... I'm gonna drop kick this zombie off the roof. Remember when I said that was my goal for the day? Well, that's what we're gonna do. I need to get my trajectory right, though. Here we go. This is it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 zombie. Hold still. Stay here. I'm gonna try that one more time. One more try. It's okay. Weirdly enough, no serious wounds gained from that situation. Oddly enough. There it is. Drop kicked a zombie off a roof. My dreams have now come true. And then I guess I'll finish him off with my little Tiva toe shoes. There we go. That actually sounds like one of my characters that I name. Tiva toe shoes. That definitely. That might get saved for later. That might get saved for a mountain blade playthrough or something of that nature. We need health, though, and these closets always have, like, halva and stuff in them, so... There we go. So we've got Halva right there. Delicious. We've only got 54 health, and I'm all out of med kits, like in gauze and stuff. We can check real fast, and I can see. I think I bought that one gauze just a second ago, but by and large, I think we may be out of... 
Oh no, we have two of them. Okay, so let's make some med kits then. We could definitely use them, that's for surely. So let's throw those things up in our backpack right this second. There we go. And so now we've got that. That'll actually save me the time of having to run around and heal myself, which puts us in a much better position for later. We got a valuable cigarettes right there. I forgot to sell off all my loot while I was back at base too, which is disappointing, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Their biggest mistake in this game was giving me the ability to drop kick and also kick that lady's ass until she falls into some spikes. I really like the fact, it, it scared me the first couple times, like when your character leans, did his brains just blow up? We have a brain explosive drop kick now, we're turning this whole thing into Fist of the, <laughs> oh my god, Fist of the North Star. Anyways, I don't know what we should do in this episode, we should probably come up with some kind of like goal or contingency or like thing that we're working towards. I assume that we probably want to go out and see if maybe we can free some more safe houses or something, I mean we've got tin cans. Let's see what's inside of here. I really feel like we've got more than enough loot to make our adventures last long, 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 long in the future, so I'm not going to worry about that. I suppose we'll head off this way. We'll look for any booby traps or anything else that might be fun. Actually, it looks like night is coming, weirdly enough. What, can you not climb that fence? All right, then go over this way. There we go, straight up into the building. Much better. Ooh, we got 15 XP for doing that. Skillses. Skillses to pay the bill. Oh, maybe the sun just... The sun kind of went down and then kind of came back up. I'm not really sure how to address this whole thing. It appears as though the natural order of everything has been swapped around during the course of this playthrough. I suppose we should probably figure out how to get over that wall. Three quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. On my way. Okay, so apparently we're heading to some place called the cauldron. Hopefully there are no witches about. I don't want to add, like, witchcraft to this whole thing. We've already got zombies. Like, that's already pretty much like voodoo and stuff. So I'm, I'm not really ready to deal with witchcraft on top of voodoo. Those two things in combination might lead us to having kind of a painful wreckage of a day. Oh, what is that guy right there? He's got, like, armor and stuff. Oh, that dude looks like a beast. I don't know if I want to mess with him. He's got himself, like, a cool little... Oh, he's got a stylized outfit and everything. Well, oof. Still can't climb worth a damn, though, just like all his friends. Have I already murdered you? Oh, I haven't. Man. Let me use my Mega Cuddy right here. Hold still while I Mega Cuddy your face. Ew, you see the chunks of his brain that are flying off right there when we stab him? That's brutal. That's like the most metal thing. Ow, get off me, you dick. That's the most metal thing ever. I feel like the bigger, badder ones like this guy right here, we need to come up with like some way... Why is this not working? Oh my god, I've exhausted my... Oh no. Hmm. Well then, problems have spawned. Let's get a real weapon out real fast. Something that can cause some serious... Oh god, did you see that one's ear fly off right there? There was a chunk! Oh, brutal! I wonder who the guy was on the development team who was like, You know what we need? When you hit the enemy, little chunks should fly off everywhere. And if that happens, then the gamer will truly be happy. There are far too many zombies running around right now, and this is going to cause us some serious pain if I don't deal with it. There we go. You, sir. I never knew how much trouble I was going to get into just fighting, like, one zombie. I thought we'd be fine, but then all these other guys decided maybe he was... He seems like he might be really popular in zombie circles, like he's the guy right there. He has killer house parties or something, and that's why everybody just likes to have him around. Awesome. Brains out right there. We've been actually doing pretty well with this blunt weaponry. Let's rip this cabinet open. we got some household supplies right there. Grab that. See if maybe this cabinet here has anything for us. Extra aerosol. Weren't we trying to do something with aerosol? Apparently, baklava gives us far much... It appears to give us more health is what I'm getting at right here. Let's maybe... I know these can be opened. Yeah, metal parts right there. Help out with that. A little bit of string so that we can make some more mollies in case we need to. Let me see if I can track down the sweet spot on here. There it is. Sweet spot attained. Now, ooh, a big-ass wallet. A wallet that's bigger than my head. That's my favorite kind of wallet. That is the ultimate type of wallet, unless I have, like, traveling and, like, backpacking or something to do. And then in that case, I don't want it anymore. I, I would like a smaller, more streamlined wallet in that case. It looked like I could jump up from somewhere. Oh, I can jump right there. Okay, so let's see if we can get up. That's not what I want to attempt. That is what I want to attempt. There we go. Also, I will check this enormous yellow chest while we're here because it seems like a waste to leave it behind and not grab anything good out of it. Some batteries, just in case. Didn't we have something that required two aerosol that we were, like, waiting on? Additionally, it appears as though we've gotten a power level. So that'll be cool. We can multi-throw. Eh, not a big fan of the throwing. Anything that removes a weapon from my hand seems like a terrible idea. We've got power attack on this side. A powerful blow that deals massive damage but uses more of your stamina. 
So you just hold and release. That seems all right. I'm on board for that. That seems pretty cool. And then the other thing we need to do is, was it the Zaji Galka that required a bunch of aerosol? No, now we need gauze. It's always something. The Zaji Galka continues to elude us. There we go. We'll jump up here. And then the goal was to like make it over to there, but I didn't because I'm a noob. But we landed on the little ledge anyway, so we didn't fall to our death. So that's pretty sweet. That's an enjoyable experience that I would like to take on board for the future. Ow. Yeah, I would have swore if I would fallen that far too. Oh, okay, so that's the power attack right there, but damn, does that use a lot of stamina. Alright. Definitely going for the headshots right here. If you can shatter, I, it appears as though maybe, I don't know if they have like an al I'm sorry, an alcohol deficiency. I don't know if they had, I've had an alcohol deficiency before. Anyways, I don't know if they've got like a calcium deficiency or something, because these bones really seem to be shattering fairly simply under the brunt of a bat. Like, I think you could collapse a head, but it comes apart really easily, like, I don't know, really dry cake or something. I'm going to get up on this roof because these zombies are scary. And they are surrounding me in a fashion that I do not find to be acceptable. I can't hit him from right here either. Hmm. Alright. Hardcore parkour. Let's go. Oh, big guy right there. Nope, not going to deal with you right now. That'll actually turn this entire episode into a fight. Let's see if maybe we can... Jade, I need to check something out. Now? What am I checking out? I hear a little kid. Do you guys hear a little kid? I definitely hear a small child. And she appears to be in distress. So being the good guy that I am. I mean, I think we're a good guy. We're like a super spy secret agent. Who even knows? It's all operating in levels of like... It's operating in mediums of gray at that point. Like, eh, are we the good... You don't have the time. Just be like, it's a child. And then everybody seems to like, shape up. They'll be like, oh, it's a child. Okay, don't worry about it. Where are you, little girl? I'm a zombie! How terrifying would that be if you were a child and there was like zombies around and now you heard the door upstairs get kicked in? That would suck. Oh, Jesus. Here, you stay down. You are not helping the situation. I'm trying to calm the situation. You're throwing like all kinds of kindling and stuff on top of it. I mean, it's not. Ooh, zombie trophy. Open the closet. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, what are you doing in here? You have to go, mister. My daddy's sick and really angry, and it'll hurt you. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Please go, go before it hurts us both, go away. I have a confession to make. I may have murdered Jade, your father. I found a little girl. She's scared out of her mind. I, I, I could... I know you could, but you need to focus on the job at hand. Look, I'll find her and pick her up before sunset. We lucked out with this airdrop, and you need to get to it before the vultures pick it clean. Do you pinky swear? If you pinky swear, you'll come and get I feel kind of bad about this. This doesn't seem like an okay situation. This place seriously has a mold problem in the ceiling. There's a diploma over here, though. You might want to bring that. I beat her dad to death, so, you know. Oh, I don't know. Let's let's search for treasure. Hmm? Oh, we got ourselves like a saw blade. Halva! Straight up into our mouths for that 5 HP of goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Halva. It'll give you 5 HP. Meow, meow, meow. And we got another tin cannon here. Alright. Well, so far, I mean, I, I assume the guy that we beat to death was her dad. It's not looking so good right now. It's definitely looking like we may have murdered her zombie father, and now I'm going to go out through the front door and not lock it on my way out, because obviously, I like to leave children in peril. That's like job number one for Splattercat. I like how there's just like... <laughs> oh my god. What is it, like laundry day when the zombie apocalypse Jade, came up? Getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. How, how tight of a most is this? Is this like a real tight, like 99.99% most? Or like a 14% most? You know, because there's a big difference. You guys notice how like his face mask right there? He's dribbling out of it, but shouldn't that be watertight or something? I don't know, he's dribbling blood out of his face mask and it concerns me. I think that's probably how he got the zombieism in the first place. I don't see a bite anywhere. Maybe the suit is just like satanic and infused with evil demonic energy and it just oozes blood and he didn't even know until he got in the suit. That'd be my luck. I'd be like, look at this super awesome hazmat suit. It's got belt buckles and little leggy strappy things. It's great, right? You want some valuable info? What are you talking about? Listen, I'm a civil engineer. I was working out of a firm in Old Town. Sector Zero, as people are calling it now. 
you know what we spent a lot of time on? The sewers. Now that sounds thrilling. Hey now, there's no need to be sarcastic. Orion's sewer system is a thing of beauty. If you've got the right eye for it, anyway. You know who should have the right eye for it? You. If you got a point, now would be a good time to get to it. Impatient, huh? Can't wait to get out there and kill some zombies, huh? They go everywhere under the city. You name a location, we've got a sewer line running about five or ten meters below the surface. See, we were able to turn into a bunch of existing caverns. Waste not what are, am I right? They spread out under Haran in every direction. Most of them, much larger than standard sewer lines, too. Makes navigating around in them a snap. And they sound like a great place for zombies to congregate, too. Well, no system is perfect, is it? At least he's civil. I, I don't like uncivil engineers. Well, I don't think I have to tell you. It's been one of those days for me today. It's been one of those days. I'm cooking a pot pie right now, and hopefully it takes all the pain away. I enjoy things. You know what takes pain away? Anything that's smothered in butter. So apparently that guy wants us to... There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Apparently that guy wants us to go down into the sewers, which seems like a really, really bang-up proposition. As much as it's bad enough to deal with zombies out here in the daylight, you know what makes zombies even more pungent? Smothering them in human feces. Then they become robust little balls of just Pequant joy. I, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just... Eh, I'd rather not... Ooh, almost put my eye out right there. That would have been unfortunate. Like, keep playing around with them zombies, you're gonna put your eye out. How do we get up there? I'm gonna go over this fence first. This is definitely not going to stop me from my adventure. I like how your security countermeasure for burglars has allowed me to vault up onto your house. I appreciate your... I appreciate your assistance in this regard. You get out of the way. I'm going to destroy your head with a baseball. Oh, good. They're all here now. Apparently, it's time for the town council to come in and tell us everything we're doing wrong about our climbing technique. I'm like, no, no, no. You gotta vault with a left leg and then push up with your right arm. You're messing up. Oh, my God. You set me on fire. I was just trying to help you. I was trying to make you better. Our fire is missing. That's interesting. Our fire seems to have vanished. I mean, it's still doing damage. That's all that I really care about. The fire can vanish all at once as long as it still continues to do its incendiary duty. <laughs> duty. Well then, can I... I wonder if I can leap up to that next balcony. I I think I might try and just... Is there anything? No. Well. No, don't take your hand off the ledge, man. There's like a million zombies in fire down there. That's the worst... I know that I did it. It was my hand on the keyboard. I don't blame you. Man, we missed. Oh, well. Sigh. I suppose we'll just have to find a superior way around. Probably in the front yard. Some I wouldn't call that much of a front yard, I guess. Oh, well. Let's play a little game of Fondle Zombie and hope that maybe we can get some goodies out of this. That sounds like a decent plan to me. What do you do when you're feeling down? Play yourself a little game. Oh, Fondle Zombie. Mm-mm-mm. Probably make you pretty popular. With the zombies, anyways. I don't know. I, 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 I think it's probably hard for zombies to, like, get any attention to the club. This is probably a recurring issue for most of these zombies. And now we're just coming in and we're solving all of their relationship issues. There's a few more over here. And have a relationship with my foot. There it is. You over here. Eh, can I kick? Eh, I'm not going to even try. I'm just going to keep hitting him with the bat. Whatever. Sometimes I get lazy halfway through my murder and then I'm just like... Ah, 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 and it just kind of happens. What? <sighs> zombies. I'm just going to kick you until you're better at climbing. Ooh, she impaled. Did you see her head pop when it hit that spike? That's brutal. This guy over here is rocking. Does he have a fanny pack on? Ow! This is what happens when you start fan you start staring at fanny packs too much. You get bit by a zombie. You'd be like, I'm fascinated by your early 90s accessory. I'm not sure. Does anybody wear a fanny pack anymore? I'm sure there's a hipster out there in the audience somewhere who's got his fanny pack on right now, don't you? I know there is. I'm talking directly to that hipster right now. I bet you got a fanny pack on. I got you. You got it cinched so tight. It's it's probably amazingly, amazingly hipstery. People seem to have a lot of baskets around here. Let me ooh, thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Let me see if I can give this the old pick a lick a ding dong. Oh, and there it is. All nice and solved. And flamethrower! Nope, no flamethrower. Some coffee and a wrench. Those are strange things to keep together. I'm not really sure if that's like some plumber's breakfast preparedness kit or what's going on. Ooh. I guess that's some kind of this must be Murray. I don't know. It said it was something Murray's diary. I'm not really sure. That must be Murray, though. Murray had a real bad day. Murray has definitely seen better days. Murray has also definitely smelled better. This guy's still over here. I think we came over here earlier in an episode. Like, I think this airdrop is just chilling here the entire time, but you can't open it till you get to the quest. Damn it. 
it. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. All right. Crate Expectations is on the way. That's a Dickensian novel that very, very few people actually knew about. <laughs> Crate expect. Ow, my shins. They're now shaped like little sideways Vs. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's climb up this building, see if there's anything over here. Oh. Is it wise of me to cook food while I record one of these episodes? I can smell my pot pie in the background, and I'm really sort of... I figured that I was going to time it properly. It said that the pot pie had to go in for 30 minutes. Minutes? Anyways, minutes. And so, what I'm saying right here, what's in here? What's in here? Eh. Ooh, hello. Got ourselves some kind of legendary mod, and then I accidentally picked up an extra weapon. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter to me. Oh, it's a military shovel. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't really care, but eh. I wish we could do these upgrades. I'm trying really hard right now to press the enter key and hold it down. Just to show that I am not an idiot and I know how to read instructions. Although, that thing that I... I bought a thing at Target the other day and I had to assemble it. And I apparently I'm... Well, the instructions kind of sucked. They seemed like they had been translated from another language, which was translated from another language. So, and there was parts in the box. That was the weird part is there were parts in the box that were not included in the instructions. I'm like, alright, so what are these like 15 pieces for? Are these just like bonus pieces? What are these? These don't even look like they fit anywhere on this entire structure. And indeed they do not. There was just like an extra bag of parts in no way related to the thing that I purchased. Oh, but this is the fun of shopping at Target. This is what happens when you get your furniture collection from... I forget what it's called. They called it a collection, but it was called like the Stronghold Collection or something like that. I'm like, this is a shoe rack that is made out of wire mesh that you assemble using your hands and these weird threaded little plastic things. <laughs> I don't know if that can actually qualify as... When somebody tells me that their furniture is part of like a collection, I instantly think like, Ooh, they must have spent a lot of money. But this just makes me feel like I'm trying to put on airs. I sincerely do not think that the Stronghold collection is quite as ritzy as you're all trying to make it. They like burned it into the side of it too. Like there's this one little part where you could tell they stuck like an iron on the side of it or something and they just melted in like the Stronghold collection into the side. I'm gonna stronghold your ass with this foot. There we go. He's all out of the way. I'm a little bit late on the commentary for that. Sometimes I fall behind. I don't know. It's been happening to me my entire life. I suppose we'll get over here. We'll see if we can get ourselves into this airdrop area. Though there are a lot of zombies around. An, an unfortunate amount of zombies. Believe me when I say that. Shit. Too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Okay, okay. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just... Find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Ow, you hit me with a bull eyed, you bastard. How dare you? That's uh, He's hitting me through the wall. I don't accept this. Anyways, as I was saying, is it a wise idea to start a pot pie cooking before you record an episode? I feel like this is the setting for some kind of like sitcom related shenanigans. Let me throw a band-aid on my knife wound. Alright, we're gonna get in here. You're gonna get dealt with. Yeah, firebomb, son. That's right, that's the worst kind of fire there is, invisible fire. Have you ever fought against invisible fire? Enjoy that experience. Oh good, they're dead. I saw how much XP we just got for killing. Let's fight this last one by hand. We will engage him in honorable man combat by drop kicking him in the face. Ow! Kicking in the gr I said man combat. How dare you kick me in the groin shortly after we declare man combat. See, now I'm going to drop kick you into a pipe. See what happens? I wonder if they have good loot. Eh, it seems kind of mediocre compared to everybody else, but whatever. It seems like it's right along the median line. Is there anything in here that I can, like, take? Anything? Anybody want to share? Hmm. Ooh. Some ninja stars. I'm pretty pleased by that acquisition. This sort of seems like the proper spot where I could basically break off the episode, so I figure I will, just to make sure that my house isn't on fire. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. I will see you all in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody.